Oysters are important ecological and economic resources and provide many ecosystem services. Eastern oysters, Crassostria virginica, form extensive reefs, providing habitat for fish and other organisms. Young oysters depend upon the hard shell substrate provided by the reefs for attachment and growth. As filter feeders, oysters help to clean bay waters. And of course, oyster support a valued commercial fishery. However, 85% of oyster reefs have been lost worldwide. In Texas, oyster spawning occurs in the spring and fall. Oysters release eggs and sperm into the water column where fertilization occurs. After fertilization, oysters progress through several larval stages. They quickly develop into microscopic swimming trochophore larvae. After one to two days, they transform into the veliger stage. They develop a thin shell and begin feeding on tiny algae. After two to three weeks, the larvae develop a foot and are called pedivelagers. During this stage, they settle out of the water column. Oyster larvae can settle onto any hard substrate, though they prefer oyster shell. Using their foot, they are able to crawl short distances to find a suitable site to set. Once they find a suitable home, the larvae cement themselves to their new substrate and metamorphose into a tiny oyster called a spat. They then begin to grow, adding more and more layers to their shell. In Texas, oyster grow to reach market size three inches in about 18 to 20 months. Biofouling occurs as barnacles, mussels, and other organisms similarly settle out of the water column looking for a suitable home. Hello! Hi! How you doing? <laughs> oh, no! What's that? Ah! Ah! Lucy! Hey, where's Lucy? Lucy! <laughs> As oysters are removed from the bays for harvest, their habitat is similarly reduced because the shells are taken as well. Oysters are shipped to restaurants and seafood wholesalers across the country. As they are consumed, the shells are generally thrown into the garbage and subsequently taken to landfills. This represents a significant loss of an important resource, oyster shell. Oyster recycling programs can help to minimize this loss. As shells are emptied at participating restaurants and seafood wholesalers, the shells are reserved in separate disposal bins. These shells are then picked up and transported to a collection site. The shells are left in the sun for at least six months to kill any bacteria and diseases. After their quarantine period in the sun, they are ready to be placed back into the bays to restore reefs and build new ones. Oh, Lucy! Oh, poor Lucy. Oyster shell recycling programs provide a way to return oyster shell back to the bay where it provides the necessary substrate for each new set of spat. Well, hello there. Hi. Welcome to the reef. I love my new home. Sink your shucks. It's habitat forming. <laughs>